One of gadolinium's most interesting properties is its temperature-related change in magnetic attraction. This naturally occurring lodestone is a mild magnet and attracts this steel paper clip. It also holds this piece of gadolinium metal, but only when I first chill it in the freezer. Here you can see that the gadolinium drops off as it warms in the room. This video examines the mechanism of this effect and includes a demonstration using a kitchen thermometer and an inexpensive scale. This graph shows the relative magnetic attraction of most of the elements of the periodic table. Elements above the zero line are attracted to a magnet and the diamagnetic elements below zero in blue move away from a magnet. You can see that only three elements are ferromagnetic at room temperature iron, cobalt, and nickel. You can see that these three elements are very strongly attracted to a magnet. Note that gadolinium is not ferromagnetic but shows the strongest magnetic attraction of any of the paramagnetic elements, followed closely by the other rare earth elements, terbium and dysprosium. You can see the relative magnetic attraction of these three elements here. Gadolinium and other rare earth elements can become more strongly magnetic at lower temperatures, specifically at temperatures below what is called the Curie temperature for the element. So what is the Curie temperature? Marie Curie is one of the world's most famous scientists. Her work with radioactivity earned her two Nobel Prizes. However, her husband, Pierre Curie, was also an important scientist. In 1895, he published his doctoral thesis concerning the magnetic properties of materials at various temperatures. He noted that many materials had a dramatic shift in their magnetic properties at a fairly precise temperature, something we now call the Curie temperature or the Curie point. Iron, cobalt, and nickel are ferromagnetic or strongly magnetic because their atoms tend to align like tiny magnets. However, at higher temperatures, thermal motion at the Curie point causes the atoms to reduce their alignment and the elements now become paramagnetic. At room temperature, the atoms of the rare earth elements align somewhat when a magnetic field is present, so they exhibit some magnetic attraction. But at the colder Curie point, the alignment is increased such that they become more strongly magnetic. Gadolinium is unique in that its Curie point is near room temperature. To see if I could quantify gadolinium's temperature-related changes in magnetism, I used an inexpensive calibrated jeweler scale and a 4.8 gram sample of gadolinium together with a kitchen thermometer and a one-half inch neodymium cube magnet. The gadolinium was supported in a small amount of water and chilled in my refrigerator freezer. The height of the neodymium magnet was adjusted to produce a lifting force on the gadolinium. A sample of iron was used as a control to check for possible effects of water evaporation or drift of the scale. During the approximately one hour that the gadolinium warmed from 36 to 68 degrees, the magnetic attraction decreased more than threefold. The control iron sample, as expected, showed no change in magnetic force over this temperature range. You can see that the magnetic change from ferromagnetism to paramagnetism was most rapid in the mid-range of the temperatures tested, and that loss of magnetism occurred with all increases in temperature. The Curie point of gadolinium does not seem to be a precise value like the freezing point of pure water. Curie points between 63 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit are reported in the literature. I think the results in this experiment seem generally consistent with loss of gadolinium's ferromagnetic behavior within the Curie point temperature range. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll like and subscribe.